It's a miracle most of them want to talk to me. <laughs> they even have their own night time down here. Which means I... I should probably... Uh, find the inn or something like that. That was an inn, right? Somewhere. Hey. Help. There's a looter coming into the city. A looter? What did you see? I saw a man come down the shaft, but he was armed and he looked like a looter. In he go? If he makes it into the city and starts attacking people, he'll break the dwarves' law. And who knows what will happen? You have to stop him. Yes, where is he? Where is he? Everybody, go home and lock your doors. The tunnel, the tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. What tunnel? What tunnel? That tunnel. Inigo, please, please, please be Inigo. Never come here. You're not Inigo. Get away from me. Oi. I'm defending myself. They are attacking me. We are outside of the city. I see you there. Okay, what do I have? What do I have? Do I have any scrolls? Uh, spit of ground, gold form, ice for soul trap. Transforming powerful creature for. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, let's see what this does. Please help me out. Oh, yes. Oh, I like this. What did you want? <laughs> oh, you won't stop the power of a bear. What did you want to do? Yes, have mer no no mercy. <laughs> yes, you want to end it? Sure, we'll end it. Get over here. <laughs> no, no running away. No running away. You are not entering the city. No. Never underestimate the power of magic. Get over here. You guys are not in ego, so I do not get what you want from me. <sighs> okay. Okay, what's that? Your. Your dark brotherhood. I recognize those clothes. Oi. You were dead. You were dead. Stop. Ah. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Where are you? Hiding down there. Oh, you better not wake up anymore. Come on, what do you want? Swimming down there? Good luck. <laughs> All I have to do is wait for you to drown. <laughs> Unless, of course, you have a spell that lets you breathe underwater. That would be a problem for me. Oh dear. I... I did not think this through. I did not think this through at all. Oh dear. Okay, I have to retreat. He's not entering the city. That's a drug brotherhood. A warlock. Oh, this is not good. There's a lot of bodies here. Guri can turn against me. This is bad. Very bad. But what is a, Why would a Dark Brotherhood person, member, be down here? Oh, great. Okay. Oh, and now you... Now you come... Hmm. Oh, 
now you want to fight. No. You are underestimating my magic. Which is a mistake. Okay. Well, that was all the looters. So, what were you doing here? Warlock's orders. My sweet child, if Quintus thinks he can hide from his own family, he is an even greater disappointment than I thought. He may have eluded his other siblings, but I know you won't let me down as... As they did. Take some of your playthings and find out where that venomous little spider is hiding. And when you find him, sweetling, do what you do best. M. Who is M? And... Either way, that is... Hmm... Interesting. What to do about you all I mean, sh who were you tracking down I know there was no name of Quintus in that book so where did you came from where did you came from indeed Maybe someone knows the name Quintus. Someone, hopefully. At least I hope the Dwarven Law has not been broken. And why do I have a sudden craving for raw meat? <laughs> Whatever it is. I'm not sure. <sighs> hey, everything is taken care of. Is it over? Is it safe? Yes, the looters are dead. The looter you saw, it was not Inigo. It was not my friend. Oh, thank the gods. What a relief. We're so lucky that you arrived in time to stop them. I guess. I'll be sure to tell everyone what you've done for us. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much. If there's ever anything my husband to beacon I can do to help you, just ask. Sure. Well, since you're offering your help anyway, I'm looking into quite some stuff. What's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. My husband, Habik, runs the clothing store in town. You should stop by. I'm sure you'll leave looking much better. N not that you don't look good now, I mean... It's just, you know, nice clothes are... Oh, who am I kidding? I'm no good at selling anything. Well, you got me interested. I guess that's why they've got me sweeping the floors, day in, day out. Well, that, and we weren't invited to be layabouts in the Jarl's Citadel. Hmm. Wait. Layabouts? Are you referring to the fact that they apparently don't do a single thing and all you do the work? Did you see anyone working in the Citadel? No. I bet you didn't. They just amuse themselves all day while those of us down here do all the work. And why? Because Habik's a Redguard and I'm a Breton. I bet if we were both Imperial, it'd be a different story. Most likely, the maybe. The worst part is we left Solitude to get away from bigoted Nords after our son died. But here, the Imperials are even worse. Really? Can I ask you something? Of course. What happened to your son? Oh. Uh, no offense, but I'd rather not talk about it. Oh, sure, Too many sure. painful memories. I understand. And besides, there are enough sad stories around this place as it is. Yeah. But if you're interested, you can talk to my husband, Habik, in his shop, Firefly Finery. I'll soon take a look. Uh, so have you, I know, I know it's not allowed through law and stuff, but ever thought about challenging the Jarl? I mean, choose a new Jarl, choose the people, everyone, not pass it down from father to son. What would we do? Start a rebellion? No, 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 no. No way. 
Not after the dwarves warning. You know, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one and all that. Yeah, but do you believe the dwarves warning? I'd be a fool not to. If you're not convinced, you should go and talk to Brol in his chambers. He knows more about the dwarves than anyone. I'll certainly ask him. Uh, can we talk about something else? All right. Do you know a way out of this place, out of the city? If I did, a beacon I probably wouldn't be here. But Ulren's wife managed to escape a while back. Ulren? He doesn't like to talk about it, but you might be able to get him to open up, I suppose. Maybe. That's actually very helpful. Thank you. I'll be going now. Nice to talk to you. See you soon. Yeah, see you soon. So someone did escape? That's very intriguing. Hmm. A lot of people also don't want to be here. That's even more intriguing. Oh dear, it's pretty late. This is the almost trader. Sounds almost. What are we dealing with? A note. Reward notice. Reward. Golden ring belonged to our deceased son. High sentimental value. Reward available for retrieval. A big Miranda. Hmm. A ring. This is the Firefly Finery. So, clothing. And this is... Fern's Fresh Produce. Worth taking a look at, but I'm looking for the tavern or inn. Dolfar's house. Not what I'm looking for. And this place is Ishmar's house. I don't want to go in right now. Everyone is sleeping. That would only anger people. Ulrin's house. These are the tunnels. No doubt. Warning, this area is not safe. Enter at your own risk, your Metellus. Yeah, I got the notice. Not safe. Makes me wonder what happened down there. Vernon. Call it curiosity. I know curiosity killed the cat and stuff. Rikas. And Habik and Miranda's house. And the tavern. The Golden Sentinel Tavern. Good evening. I apologize for arriving so late. I heard you took care of some looters for us. Yeah. If only there was something I could do to thank you. Let me know if you think of anything. Well, I can think of a few things. But first, I would like to know some information. I mean, what's your story in this place? You want to hear about little old me? Yeah. Aren't you adorable? Oh, stop but it. wouldn't you rather hear what I know about everyone else around here? Go on. Ask me. Have you heard any rumors in that case? There's something creepy about Marius up in the Citadel. Plus, he never comes down to the tavern. And you just can't trust a man who doesn't drink. Yeah, I have seen him. He's a bit of a weird one, isn't he? Have you heard anything else, by any chance? Did you know there are tunnels running all the way under the city? Yeah, I heard about that. The last one to go down there was Brandis, and it sent him to his deathbed. Yeah. Hmm. Do you know a way out of this place by any chance? I'm afraid you don't know anything about that, but it's worth asking. Only one way out of this city, and that's through the bottom of a mug of moonshine, if you get me. Solve all your problems. At least for a while. But then again, some folks will overdo it. Ulrin, the Dunmer fellow, can't miss him. Hit the drinks pretty hard after his wife, Maisie, disappeared. Well, that's understandable. Just sits there, night after night. Poor guy. 
Wish I knew what happened to her. Caught lots of people talking, but nobody seems to know anything. Odd. Yeah, some strange things have been going on. Have you heard any other rumors? Did you notice the big crack in the floor near the city gate? They say some poor fool fell to his death trying to scale the front of the citadel. Why? Why would you scale the citadel on the front? I have to look at that crack. Anything else? Have you seen Rigus walking around in that shiny armor of his all paranoid? Like those dwarven statues are going to spring to life any minute. Well, is it a bad thing that I might share his paranoia? I mean, those things are huge. Have you heard anything else? Nobody here locks their door, except the Jarl. I hear there's a locked room on the top floor of the Citadel, but nobody's seen what's inside. Now that you're saying that, yes, that is odd. Nobody locks his door. All the doors I've seen, they were unlocked. Except that golden door. Hmm. Okay, uh, what have you got for sale? Take a good look. See anything you like? I see skooma. Not what I like. Potato moonshine. Hmm. Leg of ghost roast. I'll take that one. Thank you. And any old rumors? Did you know that beautiful palace above the lake is sealed? Brawl says the last person to go in there locked it behind him. I wonder what's in there. That's indeed curious. Anyway, thank you, but I'll be going now. Oh, so soon? Well, you know where to find me, honey. I do. Something weird is going on. Something weird is definitely going on. And now, Rikas with his dwarven immaculate armor or whatever he's wearing, I give him a very thorough thought about these things. I mean, just look at it. What would happen if they just started moving? I mean, they just stand there. They used to move, most likely. I doubt being that heavily armed, they were just for decorations. I mean, I have no idea about the, dwar the dwarves, the dwemer, but... Uh, yeah. Might be worth it to keep that in mind. By the way, it is pretty late. Everyone is in bed. Have a good night. Maybe we can... I want to see that crack in the floor in front of the citadel. Because there is a lot going on here that I have no idea about. Whose house is this? Brenda's house. Hmm. There's something spooky about this whole place. I mean, last time I was here, someone hanged himself. Sure, that was seven years into the future, but point still stands. Not necessarily what I'd want to keep in mind. Why is there... Missing, my beloved wife, Macy. Reward available for information. Ulrin. Hmm. There's only a small amount of people. Why are so many... Why have so many gone missing and everything? I just... It makes little sense. Why would nobody notice people going missing? So in front of the citadel there should be a crack in the floor. Is it this crack? Or that crack? There are several cracks. Scaling the citadel. Yeah, that's pretty high. I am not sure if you ever... This crack! Someone tried to climb up there and fell off. That's the closest thing. I mean, I doubt from all the way up there, but it's possible. 
Hmm. Weird. Very weird. But John Met Metellus locking that door, the golden door. I can understand people want secrets. I mean, everyone has their secrets. Even I got them. Brawl and Scholar's Chambers. Ooh, those might be interesting. I'll have to go snoop around in these places tomorrow. At least not when everyone is sleeping. That would be a bad idea. This is... My chambers. These are mine. Huh. So this is where I'm supposed to sleep, huh? Tournament history and culture. Might be worth taking. I mean, they gave this place to me, so... Being here wouldn't mean stealing. It would not mean stealing at all. They gave this to me. So I'm not breaking any dwarven law. What else do we have? Underground tunnels. Is every house connected through this? Hmm. So the underground tunnels are locked and the Jaws place. Hmm. Well, maybe a bit of rest will do me good.